Boom! What's up, everybody? I'm talking about Night School. New comedy out. Tiffany Haddish, you know, narrows it down. Tiffany Haddish probably in 90% of the comedies that are coming out right now, which is, you know, she ready. She ready. Uh, much respect to Tiffany. Uh, so this one's also starring Kevin Hart um, and some other people who are in the movie as well. And uh, Marilyn Rice Cub being one of those. Uh, we have Rob Riggle. We have Fat Joe. We have Al Madrigal and many more. Uh, it's a movie where it's, you know, Kevin Hart needs to get a job. And to get the job that he wants, he needs to have the uh, basics of a GED. So the movie starts out with Kevin in high school and him basically having dyslexia and in things that are wrong with his ability to learn and he's unable to take his he got all the way through high school wasn't able to take his SATs and then just kind of dropped out and never did anything just became the top salesman in his grill company uh, but a tragic accident happened just the, the kind of I mean it is a comedy so you gotta realize that some comedies are made there's just no real care really it's one of the downsides of a lot of comedies i could see why they don't get nominated for a lot of shit because there's not a lot of care put into the crafting of these films unlike apatow is probably the only guy that's directing comedies that puts a lot of care and effort into how he crafts a film it actually feels grounded um, versus a lot of comedies like this one, you know, it's it, it's a it's a go have fun at the movie theater, go have fun watching this movie, um, but for sure don't expect to see anything new, right? Just get you'll hear some funny banter between some comedic actors. Um, so it was good on that level. It was good. It was fun. Um, Perfect movie to not go see. I mean, maybe a date movie, you know, l low pressure. Let's go have fun. Um, but, it, you know, as far as comedy goes, it it was okay. It was okay. It wasn't, like, super funny. There were, f I mean, it was good. Let me, let me take that back. I enjoyed all the characters. Marilyn Rice Club's character is hilarious. She's, like, the, the mom going to night school because she has nothing in her life. She's a... A single mom, not a single mom, but she's a a, a mother and uh, kind of just, she's a full-time mom and she's kind of just ignored and doesn't have uh, kind of a purpose in her life. So they all kind of grow where at the end she kind of grows some balls and tells her man what she wants to do. Um, Kevin Hart's character grows. They, all these characters grow. The principal so it is, you know, it's it's well written. It's a nice film. And it is funny. But as far as com comedies go, it's not like I'm not looking forward to throwing this on. It's like, oh, if, if even if it comes on Netflix, chances of me at home by myself throwing that on to like rewatch will not happen. Will not happen. Same with The Star is Born, which I reviewed early in the week. It's just one of those movies where I saw it okay, it's good, I'm good. Um, but if I was in my 20s and I was getting wasted and partying all the time, back when I would just throw throw movies on like regularly, back when there was just DVDs and you only had a certain amount of DVDs, but you kind of had your go-to movies when you're drunk and you're wasted and you're, you're hanging out with your friends at home, you throw this shit on for background entertainment. This I could see watching this. Like... Anchorman for me was kind of that movie where it was on all of the time back in those back when it came out when it got released um, on DVD it was just kind of that movie Elf was that another movie that was on heavy rotation at a lot of parties and just a lot of hangouts um, so I could see Night School maybe getting maybe not heavy rotation but a decent rotation I think. Tiffany Haddish has some other comedies that are coming out that look funnier. Like, even the the movie by uh, the dude that does all of the black movies, the uh, Medea movies, um, 
I can't think of his name, but Tiffany's going to be in one of his movies. That one looks funny. There's some movies that look funny of hers, but she's she's amazing. She's killing it. Uh, I hope she's still doing stand up. I would. I hope. I hope with all of this, she's able to put. I, I'm sure she she's been doing stand up forever, but it would be nice to see a special from her. It would be, and uh, with her work ethic, hopefully it's it's she puts a lot of effort into it. And because there's some sometimes when you have a stand up comic, they get into acting, they kind of just let their comedy fall by the wayside and then every once in a while put out a special but it's not it's okay because it's not finely crafted like bill burr who focuses on stand-up comedy and just does bit parts every once in a while um but i'm a huge fan of tiffany haddish i love this this is a fun movie um and she was she was great in it so go check out night school if you're looking for a comedy to go watch in the movie theater can't really go wrong there's not a whole lot of options out there right now but uh, Night School, or when it comes out, it's a good watch. Whether you're going to watch it more than once, I don't know. But it's a movie that you're not going to go wrong watching it once. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Night School. Go to my website, inspireddisorder.com. Links are up top in the bio. Uh, at Ray Taylor everywhere. Have a great day, everybody. Peace out.